A new central now continues in West Africa, where West African leaders on Sunday kept sanctions imposed on Niger after a July military coup and demanded progress towards a short transition to civilian rule before easing the measures. The economic community of West African state leaders met for a summit in Nigeria's capital, Abuja, with the region in crisis after coups in Mali, Burkina Faso, Guinea and Niger since 2020 and two attempted coups elsewhere in recent weeks. New Central's Bernard Akedi has more in this report. The authority decides to set up a committee of heads of state. ECOWAS Commission President Omar Toure said a heads of state's group from Bene, Togo and Sierra Leone would engage with Niger regime's CNSP leadership to decide on progress towards a transition and other conditions for lifting sanctions. The authority decides to set up a committee of heads of state made up of the, pres the president and head of state of the Republic of Togo, the president and the head of state of the Republic of Sierra Leone, the president and head of state of the Republic of Benin, to engage with CNSP and other stakeholders with a view to agreeing on a short transition roadmap International attention has focused on the region's most recent coup in Niger when troops ousted President Mohamed Bazoum on July 26, prompting ECOWAS to impose tough sanctions and suspend trade. Under military rule, Niger has demanded that French troops based there leave while the U.S. still has military presence in the country. The withdrawal of French troops from Sahel has heightened fears jihadist violence would spread southwards to Gulf of Guinea, Ecuador states of Ghana, Togo, Bene, and Ivory Coast. The authority will progressively ease the sanctions imposed on Niger. Failure by the CNSP to comply with the outcomes of the engagement with the committee, ECOWAS shall maintain all sanctions, including the use of force, and shall re will request African Union and all other partners to enforce the targeted sanctions on members of the CNSP and their associates. Torre said ECOWAS recognizes the dire humanitarian situation in Niger, but accused the rulers in Niemi of interfering with the flow of aid that was allowed in the country. He, however, did not say what would be considered as acceptable short transition for Niger's return to civilian rule. Consequently, the authority calls on the CNSP to release President Mohamed Bazou, his family and associates immediately and without condition. Nigeria's President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, the current chair of ECOWAS, and U.S. Assistant Secretary of State for African Affairs, Molly Fee, were also at the meeting to discuss how to support Niger's return to democratic rule and Sahel security. ECOWAS leaders also discussed the delayed or uncertain transitions back to civilian rule and election for Mali, Burkina Faso, and Guinea. The regional bloc said it would lift travel restrictions on presidents, prime ministers, and foreign ministers from those countries in transition to help advancing negotiations.